The penalties for violation of the Conflict of Interest Act are very modest. Commissioner Dawson has said that, uh, in effect, that naming and shaming is, is really the only penalty. Um, the Finance Minister, for example, when he was found in violation uh, of the disclosure of holdings, was fined uh, barely $200. I wonder if you have any thoughts on perhaps stiffening the penalties for, for violations si serious and, and minor. As a citizen, you know, I've, uh, I've been a news buff all my life, so I'm therefore aware of, uh, and I, did fo I have followed the work of uh, Mary Dawson ever since she was appointed. As a citizen, I, I do find those penalties. It's, it's a little bit like the NHL, when uh, a player gets fined $500, and you know that they, he earns $5.8 million a year. It's not, it's, it may not be sufficient to uh, create the disincentive that we're trying to create. Uh, Commissioner Dawson, um, uh, some years ago, uh, submitted to this committee and to the government a list of recommendations for um, for changes to the um, to the Conflict of Interest Act, uh, the operation of the office, uh, and, and so forth. Uh, again, uh, would you commit to at some point, uh, not early in your term, but at some some midpoint? Uh, uh, offering a consideration or updating of recommendations that had been made by Commissioner Dawson in the past, uh, and whether or not uh, the government should consider uh, uh, implementing those changes, those recommendations now. I see this as part and parcel of the role of the Commissioner. I did that at PSIC. We basically started to work on the uh, series of proposals uh, shortly after I was appointed. You have to have enough experience to, uh, of course, have a foundation on which to base it. I think it's part and parcel, and uh, I've already answered your, your colleague earlier, Mr. Chair. I did indicate that I would be, uh, I will study what uh, Mary Dawson has recommended back in 2013, and uh, I, it's part of my role, and I will be pleased to uh, present recommendations if and when I'm in a position to do so.